channeling energy through the aura, the human EMF, using Kriya's Body Gestures by Alice B. Claggett. One, stabilizing the central vertical power current, the Kundalini, in a standing position, grounding to earth, Left arm is down by side, hand horizontal, palm down, fingertips extended to front. Holding the sky, right forearm is extended horizontally forward, palm up, fingers gently cupped. Two, calling down sky energy. In a standing position, grounding to earth. Left arm is down by side, hand horizontal, palm down, fingertips extended to front. Calling down sky, right forearm is raised nearly vertically in front of body, palm up, fingers gently cupped. Three, setting sky energy back to vertical. In a standing position, grounding to earth, left arm is down by side, hand horizontal, palm down, fingertips extended to front. Setting sky energy back to vertical. Right forearm is raised nearly vertically, palm up, fingers gently cupped. On sensing sky energy misaligned to the right, tilt the right arm and head to the right, then back to vertical, or vice versa. Four, feeling the unconscious thought cloud of the world. This cloud of unconscious and subconscious thought from sentient beings all over Earth streams into the lower triangle, chakras one to three, of the human aura or EMF beneath the heart. In a standing position, use palms of hands to explore the energies in front of the lower triangle. Five, slowing and calming the unconscious thought cloud of the world. This cloud enters the human aura, or EMF, through chakras one to three, the lower triangle of energy beneath the heart. In a standing position, energy break. Right arm is extended down and six inches out in front of body, palm forward, fingers down. Warding motion at the navel point. Left forearm is bent, hand in front of navel point, palm down, fingers extended separately from thumb and torqued outward. This calms incoming negative energy and pushes it away. Six. Stabilizing the navel point, the center of will, in a standing position. Warding motion at the navel point. Left arm is bent, hand in front of navel point, palm down, fingers extended separately from thumb and torqued outward. This calms incoming negative energy and pushes it away. Stabilizing the navel point. Right forearm is extended out in front of the body. 
Hand is near the right side and a few inches beneath the level of the navel point. Hand out, palm up, fingers gently cupped. Seven, uniting the navel point to the high heart. This kriya is for physical regeneration and for integrating the ara as one body of light. From a standing position, the palm of the left hand with fingers extended to right is placed on the navel point. The palm of the right hand with fingers extended to left is placed on the high heart. This posture energetically unites the willpower of the navel point to the regenerative power of the high heart, which is associated with the thymus gland. Eight A Blessing Planet Earth Part One Angelic Invocation. This two-part Kriya invokes the help of the angelic realm in uplifting and healing humankind and our beautiful planet Earth. Here is part one of the Kriya, the angelic invocation which imbues the human form with light. From a standing position, angelic invocation, elbows are bent, hands about five inches away from and in front of the body, palms are up, fingers extended forward and gently cupped. This is similar to the one-handed gesture, holding the sky. Eight B Blessing Planet Earth Part Two, grounding angelic light to planet Earth. This two-part Kriya invokes the help of the angelic realm in uplifting and healing humankind and our beautiful planet Earth. Here is part two of the Kriya, which grounds grace from the angelic realm into planet Earth. From a standing position, angelic invocation, the right arm continues in the same position as in 8A. Right elbow is bent, hand about five inches away from and in front of the body, palms up, fingers extended forward and gently cupped. Grounding to earth, left arm moves down by the side, hand horizontal, palm down, fingertips extended to front. Nine, warding negative energy away from the high heart. Using this gesture had to do with the sound of a motor that was starting up. Motor sounds garble the downward flow of the basal or root chakra energy. From a standing position, warding motion at the high heart. Left forearm is bent, hand in front of high heart, palm down, fingers extended separately from thumb and torqued outward. This calms incoming negative energy and pushes it away from the high heart, an energy center to do with the thymus gland and physical regeneration. Grounding to earth, right arm is down by side, hand horizontal, palm down, fingertips extended to front. This helps restore the downward flow of basal or root chakra energy. Ten, warding negative energy away from the throat. From a standing position, warding motion at throat level. Left forearm is bent, hand in front of the throat, palm down, fingers extended separately from thumb and torqued outward. This calms incoming negative energy and pushes it away from the throat, an energy center to do with astral and physical communication. Grounding to earth, 
right arm is down by side, hand horizontal, palm down, fingertips extended to front. This helps restore the downward flow of basal or root chakra energy. Eleven, clearing the eighth chakra. The eighth chakra is an energy sphere three inches above the head. This chakra is our personal lord of karma. When we clear it, the karmic play resets itself throughout our aura, or EMF. From a standing position, clearing the eighth chakra. Both arms are straight up above the head, palms facing. Twelve, smoothing the auric egg. This kriya smooths out the energy of the aura, the human EMF. From a standing position, smoothing the auric egg. Begin with both arms straight up above the head, palms facing. Rotate the wrists so that the palms face outward. Then slowly sweep the arms in downward arcs along each side of the body until they are relaxed down along the sides with palms facing inward toward the body with hands relaxed and fingertips pointing downward. 13. Immovable Kriya. This immovable Kriya stabilizes the basal or root chakra. Sitting cross-legged, arms resting on knees. Hands, palms forward, index finger pointing downward to earth. Thumb placed over the other three fingers, which are curled. Fourteen, Kriya to align our mind with the mind of God. The hand position, known as Gyan Mudra, aligns our small mind with the great mind of God, lighting the human form with divine wisdom. Sitting cross-legged, arms resting on knees, hands, palms forward, tip of the index finger, lightly touching tip of thumb. Last three fingers of each hand are together and extended downward towards the earth. Fifteen, warding negative energy away from the sacral and basal chakras. This kriya had to do with the noise of a motor starting up. Motor noises have a harsh, guttural harmonic that attracts negative energies. Sitting cross-legged, warding motion at the sacral and basal chakras. Left forearm is bent, hand above and to the left of the two crossed legs. Palm down, fingers extended separately from thumb and torqued outward. This calms incoming negative energy and pushes it away from the sacral, sexual chakra and the basal chakra to do with the desire to survive. Stabilizing the sacral and basal chakras. Right forearm is extended out in front of the body, hand a few inches in front of right knee, palm up, fingers gently cupped. Sixteen, warding away an attempt at sexual psychic courting. Sitting cross-legged, warding motion at the sacral chakra. Left forearm is bent, hand in front of sacral chakra. Palm down, fingers extended separately from thumb and torqued outward. 
This calms incoming negative energy and pushes it away. Hand moves to fingers up, blocking, then back to the warding position. Blocking motion. Right forearm is extended out a few inches in front of the crossed legs. Palm forward, thumbs separate, fingers extended downward toward the earth. This hand is blocking another person's remote attempt to create a psychic cord to the second chakra of the sitting person. 